Hey, what's going on guys? So today um, I wanted to speak about the recent controversy with Low Tier God. Um, some of you have probably seen that he got into um, an altercation, well not really an altercation, what happened was he was playing online, he was on his stream and this person called Zero Blast came up, a uh, Ken player. And uh, Zero Blast I think was like trolling him or something and, and as we know LTG is very heated with, uh, with video games, um, namely Street Fighter. So what happened was LTG rage quit. Um, uh, I think he's blacklisted this person in particular several times. Um, but he rage quit and then he proceeded to go on what was perceived as a homophobic slash transphobic tirade um, towards Zero Blast. Um, I didn't know who Zero Blast was before this. Uh, I'm not going to comment on them too much because I don't know much about them. I've heard the name before. But apparently this person is transitioning to a woman. Um, and so LTG basically attacked uh, that way. It wasn't, see, this is the thing that like, people saw it as an attack. This is what I kind of want to get into. Um, he said a couple things on his YouTube channel. So he addressed this whole situation. He's basically been banned from a bunch of tournaments. Now, as far as I'm aware, um, LTG doesn't really go to tournaments very often. I think he spent some time on the tournament circuit. Um, but largely his platform is online. He's built a platform for himself online. So I don't think he needs the tournaments. I don't think that's going to affect him very much. Um, I also don't think that his, his fan base goes into his stream expecting him to go to tournaments, from my understanding. But there were a couple takeaways from his Addressing the Internet video, part four, uh, that he put out. Um, so I saw what he said to uh, Sarah Blast, and then I also saw the tweet that Sarah Blast put out, and the tweet uh, was basically just saying that, oh, I'm I'm really upset with how I've been spoken to, um, and it kind of it said some things that, but essentially the tweet is is basically just it's, it's Sarah Blast um, saying that they've got a high tolerance for a lot of the things that that come out, I guess, towards gay or trans people, um, and. The thing that I don't like about this tweet is that they say, I know LTG talks a lot of shit and doesn't mean it. Um, and at that point, I'm like, so like I've got certain friends, right? I'm half black. I've got uh, certain friends that have very dark sense of humors, right? Now, from that tweet, it sounds like uh, maybe they're friends, maybe they're acquaintances, maybe they've hung out. In LTG's video, he did actually say that they've sat down, they've had food together, they've I think spent some time together, like they, they, they were on cool terms. So um, this person, this Zero Blast person is saying that they know that LTG is, is like this. Just like I, I, I have some friends, like I was saying, that are, they say some wild shit sometimes. They say some wild shit. And if, uh, if my WhatsApp group chats ever got out, <laughs> a lot of us would be in trouble. But I know it's things they don't mean. I know it's things they don't mean, obviously. Um, people say things when they're heated that they don't mean. They say stuff in, in the heat of the moment and um, I have, like I said, I've got a couple friends when, when we're playing video games and if I beat them, they, uh, <laughs> they say some shit, but because I know them, I know it's cool. Um, even if like I know them on an acquaintance level, sometimes it's alright. Like I too have a very high tolerance for a lot of things. Um, so I just thought that maybe putting this on Twitter the way it was, the way it was done, it might have seemed like clout chasing, but again, I don't know Zero Blast, and I don't know what they're going through. I don't know how much words hurt them. Um, I'm also, I'm not trans or gay, so I don't know the struggles of these people. Um, so I'm not particularly shitting on Zero Blast for, for calling it out. Um, there, there would definitely be instances where if people did something to me, I would blow them up on Twitter. Um, and I'm not going to lie, like... If if there's instances where so I don't like someone, like let's just let's just say it's Zero Blast don't like LTG, I'm gonna be 100% real with you. If I don't like you, yeah, and you're doing something to me that I either find under like undermining me or you're being rude, whatever, and and I'm like okay, yeah, you you're gonna try ruin my day. I'll 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 grab some clout off you. So I think it's okay for Zero Blast to admit that. I think like most people do it. Anyone that tells you they wouldn't, they're probably lying. Um, but on the flip side, they were probably just trying to bring awareness to someone that they thought that was being transphobic. I don't know. I don't know the two people. But there was a couple of things that, that um, LTG said in his stream. 
and it's that he he said he said a couple of things. One of them was people always attack him, which is true. Um, now a lot of the tournaments have banned LTG following this this tirade that he went on, and I I get it and I don't get it because I've been a part. Well, I don't want to say I've been part of the FGC. I don't really like to associate too much with the FGC because there's a lot of things that have happened that people have sort of like ignored, um, which I don't like now. LTG has not has always had a bad rep, right? He people don't like him very much. I personally don't have a problem with him. I actually find some of, most of his streams uh, quite entertaining, um, and some of his call out videos I found quite funny. Um, but again, I have a dark sense of humour, and I don't take things to heart. And if LTG ever pissed me off, um, I would pull him aside and say to him, "Look, I didn't like this, bro." Blah blah blah. But that's just how I am. A lot of people they don't. They might see LTG and get intimidated um, because you know he's a tall black dude and he's hench. So that's, I'm just being real with you, like because being being part of the FGC when I was younger, or at least like hanging around with people in the FGC and, and going to tournaments, I see how people act. So people always attack him behind his back, and I know that people upload videos to to get clout on him, um, to speak badly on him. Um, and I know that any any opportunity is a, is a chance to attack him. Really, I even saw in some of my WhatsApp group chats people uh, were attacking him over some other stuff unrelated to this, which I thought was really dumb. Um, but I'm not going to call out those people. Um, but another thing that they do with LTG that I've noticed um, ever since this controversy thing really came up with Zero Blast, I'd noticed it before, but they they really do steal a lot of his content. Like they steal a obscene amounts of his content and it is to gain clout i've seen a lot of youtube channels that are very very small uh basically dedicate themselves to bad mouthing someone they don't know now that's different from bad mouthing a game in the uk um, a game like Mortal Kombat, basically um because i don't like the game right i've invested money in the game so if i want to dedicate a month of my channel to shitting on Mortal Kombat, i have the right to as a consumer but like I don't know LTG personally, I just watch him online. I'm from the UK, right? I'm not from the US. I never met this guy before, um, so to basically attack him because of, of a situation that you weren't involved in, it seems kind of weird to me. But we do live in like a bandwagon culture, where when one person does things, everyone's got to do it, um, and obviously like it's it's the cool thing to 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 hate on someone that everyone hates. But he said uh, something else which really it resonated with me on on some level. Um, and he was talking about comedians and people in the 90s and how we used to say stuff. Now, one person could argue that we've, we've gone past that and we don't use those words anymore because we've identified that they're derogatory um, and we move the times as humans do. The flip side of that is that context matters, right? Now... LTG is saying that he sat down and had food with this guy and uh, or, or girl sorry um, and uh, that they're cool and you know when like I said when me and my friends talk we, we're from the 90s as well I'm almost 28 years old now in 10 days actually and um, I my friends do say some crazy shit and they're not homophobic or transphobic now the, the difference is is that I don't record um, any of the con any of the games that me and my friends have in private just because I know that when we're playing games some crazy shit can be said um, and I'm black and I don't get offended when they say these things to me obviously because they're my friends but LTG said it on a public platform um, so on one hand I'm like okay he could say what he wants because it's freedom of speech I believe they call it the is it the second amendment or the first amendment in America one of them but on the other hand you did put yourself out on a public platform and in doing so, you give you give people the opportunity and the right to attack you for it, because um, they're also allowed to speak their opinions. Now, if if Sarah Blast and LTG were friends, what I would have done is like if one of my friends did something, I thought, okay, you stepped out of line a bit. I would have private messaged them and been like, bro, what the hell are you doing? Like that's way too far. Um, but. Sarah put it online uh, for everyone to see and obviously obviously we know if you put something online of LTG it's going to get some sort of following we know that um, if he did if he, if 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 uh, Sarah Blast did that um, because they wanted to get a following then that's wrong of them um, and they, they shouldn't have done that if they just did it because they were really hurt 
I don't know, man. It seems it seems a bit weird to me. Like the the tweet that Sarah Blast put out, put like it it rubbed me the wrong way. And there's another thing that um, LTG spoke about um, with regards to the FGC. Now he brought up Ultra David, and Ultra David uh, apparently doesn't like LTG. Now Lotte God is saying that he went to a bunch of tournaments in 2018, I think, and um, he saw Ultra David, and nothing was said. But apparently, when Ultra David went online, um, he started bad mouthing him. Now I I don't run in those kind of circles, right? If you have something to say, you say it to my face, and we talk about it like adults. So I can understand LTG's frustration with that because that does sound cowardly. Obviously, I I don't know if LTG has done certain at the tournaments to to Ultra David and he's omitting some information because that's the side of the story that we got from him. But um, one thing that does happen in the FGC, and I have been on the receiving end of it, is I'm a very I have very controversial views on certain things, right? Um, and if I have a problem with someone, I will tell them right to their face. I'll, I'll call them out online, let them know, look, I'm coming down to the tournament. I'm not going to like punch you up or anything. Like It's not that. But you got a problem with me, so we should have a conversation about this. And a lot of the time, a lot of the time, people that, uh, people that tend to lock themselves away and play games all day, a common trend you find is that they don't have the social skills to really talk to somebody when they're being confrontational and that, that's not that doesn't account for everyone obviously because i've got loads of friends that play games that i'm close friends with and we go out all the time but it is a thing where people act a certain way to your face either because they're afraid of you or because do you know what i don't really understand that mentality so i, I don't have a another another uh, reason for it. it must be because they're afraid of you um Maybe they just don't want to start a commotion. But either way, it's kind of it's kind of a waste man personality trait to have. But that is a situation that does happen in the FGC a lot. People being hella snaky and not saying stuff that they would say online to someone's face. If you're gonna if you're gonna call someone out in particular, you should one hundred percent be down to say it to their face. Um apparently Ultra David wasn't very happy with the fact that LTG was cast in a reality show for I think it was called E League or something. I remember I saw one episode, um, but it's it's very obvious why they cast um, they cast a uh, low tier god in that show. It's because whether you like him or not, people watch him. Like people watch low tier god. Uh, either that's either through ripped off streams or his stream or his YouTube channel, or whatever. His name is coming up in some sort of news, and people address it. Now, if people really didn't like him, like I had a friend that said to me. Uh, no one cares about him, so no one's talking about it. Well, that's not true. Um, if people didn't care, you wouldn't talk about it. It's that simple, and that, that thing goes away. That person loses their power, but people do care about what he has to say, and it does affect them. It does affect him. Um, but just going back on the tweet as well, there was one thing that uh, Sarah Blast said that I really didn't like, um, and uh, it was... But it says, Dude, you got kids watching your stream. This is what you're teaching them. Look, I... I don't know who's letting their kid watch Low Tier God, if I'm being 100% honest with you, okay? That guy, it, to me, produces adult adult content for video game. Um, people that like watching video game streams. I don't mean adult content in, in terms of porn, but obviously Low Tier God has a foul mouth, right? And his audience likes that. And I've been in his stream chat before. I've seen the kind of streamers that are... Well, I assume they're not kids. They don't, they don't type like I assume a kid would. But it's not low tier God's. Um, it's not low tier God's responsibility, you know. To even though he's a public figure, it's not his responsibility to teach these kids right from. That's the parents' responsibility, and it's also the parents' responsibility to turn off low tier God if they don't want the kids to to hear what he's saying. That you shouldn't put that on low tier God, um, and that's why. I felt like some of this tweet was like reaching for, I don't know, like points, I guess. So some of Sir Blast's tweets went on to say that nobody was defending the LGBTQ community in his chat. Um, I mean, obviously they wouldn't be because either one or two things is happening. They are The people in his chat are either homophobic and transphobic, so they would laugh at something like that or LTG was not doing it in the context that it was meant to be like taken as, as super serious um, and I know that sounds like a wild thing to say because you're putting yourself out there in 2020 and we all know what the current 
social climate is like. Um, but it is one of those two things. And the other thing is, um, they put you could have just DM'd him instead of posting this. I don't care, this deserves to get exposed. I respect the hustle, but that's going too far. Um, I don't know what to make of these tweets. Like, if they're friends, he should have just DM'd him. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, man. The thing is, I'm not. I'm not gay and I'm not trans, so I don't know how much abuse these people have to deal with to the point where they they have to call something out like this. So I can't speak on that. Um, it just seems like it sounds like I don't know. Are they friends? Uh, could someone tell me if they're friends? I'm. I'm confused now. Like reading this, and then obviously underneath, there's a bunch of people. There's people that I know personally saying that they hate. L they hate LTG. Tyler Lansdowne from NRS commented saying sorry I had to deal with that. See now the only thing that I don't like about this whole situation, right, is fair enough, I'm gonna give Sarah Blast the benefit of the doubt. What what LTG said might have been hurtful towards them. Um the reason that like I I'm on the fence about it, I think I'm I'm putting my personal feelings too much into it because if someone said something like that to me uh, to me personally, me being a black guy, um, I would have just laughed and as we all know, black people are some of the most oppressed people on this planet. Like, hands down, forget trans, gay, blah, 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 all this and whatnot. Black people, we, we get it the most. After this whole coronavirus thing, they're, still, they're trying to blame it on black people in China now. After all that, so I imagine. So, like, for me, these things bounce off my chest a lot. So, this to me, this seems blown out of proportion, but I'm not gay or trans, so I don't know how they really feel deep down. And also, I'm not a very emotional person. You could write the most mean things about me online and I would look at it and then I'll put my phone down and get on with what I'm doing. Like I, I really don't care about people's opinions. Um, and the other thing is someone someone said to me, well, you need to look at it in the sense that these people are constantly under attack, like physically as well, when they go out in different places. Well, so are black people. Like this is the thing that I, I can't understand why it's gotten this out of control to the point where it's gone on Twitter. I think it's I think it's I think this is this is a bit mad to be honest with you. Like I don't think this should have been given any attention. Like it's been not on Sarah Blast's part, but what LTG said, it's like sticks and stones. It, to me it just seems a very blown out of proportion. And I guess that's because again, any for any of my viewers that are black, growing up black in, in neighborhoods where certain people don't like you, um, because of this colour of your skin, you kinda of become desensitized to this stuff. But speaking on that the FGC is weird because um, they've banned Low Tier God from all of their events now. Uh, I think all of their events, they've basically just banned him from, from them. And uh, the thing that I find weird is that a lot of the people that are commenting on this on this thread, I'm not going to say who who it is because like, uh, maybe they've changed their ways or maybe they didn't mean it. Because I didn't personally get offended by it. I'm always just like, oh, they probably don't mean it. But it should be one rule fits everyone. A lot of people commenting underneath Sarah Blass's um, um, tweet, they're not black, and I've heard them say that, and well, not heard them like myself, but I've seen instances with people in the UK scene that are commenting on this thread, and people in the US scene they're saying the N word. My friend the other day was like, "Bro, he's in uh, he's in America." I was like, "Bro, I go to tournaments, and you know, you, bro, you get white people saying the N word all the time, and no one bans them, and it's just like." This, this to me, that that's why this is blown out of proportion. Like the the level of attack here. I'm not saying what LTG said was cool. Um, it might have been, it might have been like, it might have been fucked up. But I don't know if this reaction is the reaction that that it deserves. I don't know. This is a bit of a dicey situation to me. I'm just reading over the tweets, and I don't really like like where this is going. It feels like it's going to go into in, into a witch hunt uh, sort of. Uh, people are saying that um, you should that anyone that has said that you should have DM'd him privately, screw them, um, because he did it on a public platform. I hear that. I hear that he put himself out there on a public platform, so um, it is it is Sarah Blast's right to retaliate in the same way. Um, but I guess I guess because of my upbringing and. The things I've had to deal with with the police, the things I've seen my friends do with the police, the the racist uh, remarks that you get from people. I think I've become desensitized to a lot of it. So it's a lot. It's a, it's a very much uh, a sticks and stones situation. One of the things that LTG did in his video that I thought was a bit silly and didn't help his point is that he brought up infiltration beating his wife. 
Well, I don't know if infiltration beat his wife. I didn't actually look into it. I don't like speaking on things that I don't entirely know about. Um, like, I, like, I come with facts, you know. Like, they, he, he brought up... Um, he brought up infiltration beating his wife and it was just a i was like bro that doesn't help your situation you can you have to understand why why like a tournament would ban a guy from going to it if he's beating the shit out of his wife i don't know if he was beating her i don't know if he was verbally abusing her i don't know what was going on um i think his point was more we don't really know what was going on we just had a few reports here and there infiltration didn't really speak on it um and then he was banned everywhere I don't know if that's actually the case or if if it actually did come out that he beat his wife. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I just I, I just this situation is is a bit mad. Um, I would like to see the same energy carried out for everything. Um, having played Super Smash Brothers, Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, one consistent thing that I've always noticed is. Um, the, the racism towards black people is they always get away with it but this sort of stuff is is, is fine I even had one guy say to me it's cool I can say the n-word because I'm Mexican I'm just like bro like this is this is inconsistent this is why this is one of the things I don't like about the FGC and uh, I mean if we're going to talk about the smash community and the, the level of kitty fiddling going on and people being allowed to still participate and people still supporting their streams this whole situation has just rubbed me the wrong way and i basically just want to speak on it and say that yeah like maybe ltg stepped out of line but i wish the fgc would show the same energy towards everything but they don't um it's very selective and right now um non-binary trans uh, people are very like it's a hot topic so I, I guess if you say anything out of line even if you make a joke um then that you're gonna it's gonna be a witch hunt basically so that's that's basically what i got for you guys today i don't know if you guys even saw this situation with ltg um but it's it's pretty mad um he's addressed it on his, his channel and he's made it clear that he doesn't need the fgc anyway he's got a platform um that he's created for himself but it looks like he's been banned from everything really so what do you guys think about the situation? Do you think that they were right to ban him on everything? Do you think it was right to call him out? Do you think people are being... About, uh, is, do you think it's being overblown? Um, do you think that the FGC is very selective in, in what they choose to demonise and scrutinise? What do you think? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.